Hi, I'm Nick from the NextCast here at YetiCon with... Julie, your Scarlet Cosplay. <laughs> Very cool. I, see, you introduce yourself at the panel, but I only heard the Scarlet Cosplay part, so I'm like, I don't know who I'm Julie. talking to. Julie. <laughs> Very cool. Um, and we just got out of a panel on uh, Streaming 101, which was run by Julie. Um, that went pretty well. What would you say is probably the biggest tip for somebody who's interested in, in starting to stream? Uh, read a lot. There's like a ton of information on the actual Twitch website where they're telling you like line by line what to do if you want to stream, uh, what you need basically like for your computer, uh, what you need for the streaming platform and everything like that. So there's just, you, you just have to read it and then you basically just ask people what they want to see. What is probably the most heartfelt moment that you've had on stream? Positive or negative? Oh, um, like good I was, I was like positive. You were you were emphasizing in the the panel like having a positive mood. So how about we yeah. we go oh, with that? Man. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the guy that was talking about that I kind of like didn't knew at first, and he just like arrived out of nowhere in my stream. Uh, he's actually called Randall, and he's such a nice person. Like it, it's surprising how people can be super generous whenever they think that you're worth it. And this guy kind of gave me more than 2K in six months. Whoa. And I was scared at first because I was like, do you want news or something like that? And I'm like, do you know I don't do that? And he was like, no, I just appreciate who you are. And you're so nice that I think that you're worth it. And not just that, but he's in the army. So he doesn't use his money at all. And he doesn't have the opportunity to do so. So he was like, I'm so happy to give it to you. And you can just like it better. Like he gave me like all my gear of gaming stream for Christmas. And I was like, you're fucking nuts. So that, that was really hard because I kept crying every single time he was sending me money. And I was like, can you stop? I feel bad. Uh, like he gave me like about like six hundred dollars in in one night once, and I was like, uh, <laughs> I'm like, you don't even know me. What the fuck are you doing? So yeah, he made me cry big time. Oh. Yeah, but it was it was a nice feeling. It was just like, dude, can, what can I do? Because now I feel so bad, and I want to give you back because you're being so sweet to me. So yeah, that was crazy, and he's still crazy. Cool. Wow. Uh, and then he got a girlfriend and it stopped. <laughs> no, it's cool. I mean, okay. he's still talking, but it's just really funny. I'm like, ah, now you have to pay for her. <laughs> you, uh, you'd mentioned in the panel that you'd started streaming uh, a little less than a year ago. What kind of got you into streaming in the first place? Uh, my best friend, honestly. Like the, the when I was talking about Crystal, she started, and I was like, that looks so fun. I want to try it. And since everybody was like telling me how I should do more YouTube videos about like how I craft things, well, I was like, I don't kind of enjoy making like fully edited videos. So I was like, I kind of prefer the idea to make live things and just reply to your questions, basically. Yeah, that makes sense. Editing video is a lot of work. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I don't have that much free time. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, <laughs> I assume that you stream in English. Uh, yeah, I do. What's it like streaming in your in your not your native language? Uh, well, I mean, I stream technically in English, but whenever people are writing to me in French, I still oh, reply I guess, in I French. Guess so. But it's really funny because a lot of people are like asking me, so how do you say this in French, and how do you say that in French? And it's just really fun to see that people are actually interested in the fact that I'm French. So yeah, but I most of my best friends are all English. Like mm -hmm. my my. First one that was like in there is uh, from the US. So I kind of don't have a choice but to talk to her in English. My other two best friends are from Ontario. So I'm like, yeah. I mean, they want to try and learn it. So that means a lot to me. But like from the start, I still have the friends here. So it's, it's still really like, okay. Like I'm not feeling the pressure of like, hey, you have to speak English. But at the same time, English is such a convenient language that it's really important to learn it. So I was like, yeah. And I, I, Thing that I'm not that bad at it for for yeah. Montreal. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, how long have you been cosplaying for? Because you mentioned that's you just mentioned that's a big part of your stream as well, the creative element. Since 2012, I started. I, and has it all been Ezra Scarlet or? Well, I mean, in the first year, I was honestly just doing Urza because she's my ultimate waifu. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, she still is. She's never gonna like stop it. But like um, recently, I think. Starting two years ago, I started like looking into new characters and all. I'm a big fan of Zelda, so I started to actually cosplay Zelda. I have uh, Zelda from Ocarina of Time cosplay, which I'm super proud of. It's amazing. I'm doing Zelda from Breath of the Wild uh, this year, actually. 
And I have also Lara Croft, which I'm a big fan of. I also have Renoa, so a couple of like Final Fantasy characters and stuff like that. And more and more projects because I want to like grow and do more things different. So. Uh, now, see, you said some magic words, and so I have to ask some questions <laughs> now. Favorite Zelda game? Oh man. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna sound weird, but I think I, I would say Breath of the Wild. Okay. And then my second one is like Ocarina enough time. Because the gameplay is so fun in Breath of the Wild. But the story of Ocarina enough time is like so important to my tiny heart that yes. <laughs> okay, and uh, Final Fantasy as well, because uh, like uh, G, the man behind the camera, is a huge fan of one of the Final Fantasy games. And I'm just, just curious because we don't hear a lot of talk about it. I would say the sixth one. It was really fun. I played it for Cynthia and I was like, this game is genius. But I really, I know that it's not as popular, but I really did love the, the eight. Cause like, Squall is my ultimate just bendo. So yeah, Squall. If people wanted to find uh, either your, your Twitch or your cosplay or any of that online, mm -hmm. where could they find it? Uh, on Twitch, it's really easy. It's like the twitch.tv like, slash Sky's cosplay all in one word. And I mean, Facebook is basically all the same thing, but it's like official Scarlet Cosplay because oh, there's okay. so many. So I was like, I need something different. Uh, and social media is always like Scarlet underscore cosplay and stuff like that. So it's very, in general, like the same thing everywhere. Okay. Easy enough. Perfect. Well, thank you for taking the time to chat with us. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs>